people, are y'all up? Are y'all up, out and about? Are y'all up getting ready for work? What you doing today? Y'all up. Let's get on up, y'all. Get on up and live. Live the day like it's your last day on earth. What y'all up to today? I'm headed out. I got I got the best grandbaby in the world in the back seat with me. Him chewing on his tag on his bill. I'm out for the gross errands, of course. Up. Uh, started your day with the Lord. With God, giving God thanks. Waking us, waking us up to see another day. Get on up. Let's live. We ain't let the devil stop us from nothing. Do we have anything? And if you do have everything you want, are you blessing somebody else and helping somebody else along the way so they can climb on up too? Yeah, that's what we do. That's what we do, y'all. That's what we got to do. We got to push through every day. Y'all get on up. I need some good old music to listen to. You feeling down and out depressed? I need some good old music to help lift you up. Something that's going to lift you up. Whatever you like to listen to. It's going to uplift you. Find you something that's going to make you smile. Make you laugh. Yeah, that's what we got to do, y'all. We got another choice because, like I said, we don't ever know. We're here today. We may be gone tomorrow, but make the best out of it. Go do what you got to do if you're like at work. Make the best out of it wherever you at at school. If you're at church, if you're at home, wherever you at. Make the best out of it. I mean, it is what it is. You can't change. I mean, can change it, but I'm just saying, you know, we have to get up and we have to uh, roll, buddy. We have to get on up and make the best out of the time that we're here. I'm so glad I, that I have reached this point in my life. I promise you, I'm so glad. I'm so thankful to God that I allow God to lead me and to guide me to this place and to this point that I'm at now. Oh, and I tell you, I wish I would have known these things back then. Things would have been so much easier. But, you know, we live and we learn. We live and we learn. So, yeah, uh, it's, it's just me and my duty. But we probably go eat lunch with Maya. Um, whenever she goes lunch. She, today is Friday, so she works from um, 9 to 6 on Fridays. And, um. Uh, Nine to six on Fridays, and then she had lunch about 1.15, a little bit after noon, after 12 o'clock, so I haven't talked to her yet to see what she was going to do for lunch, but I found out and see if she want to get some grab something together, and she probably will if she made other plans to go with some other ladies at the job, and me and Nolan are out, then she'll just meet us and go with us. get up I reverence God thank you Lord thank you Jesus hallelujah thank you Holy Spirit good morning I love you all that good stuff early in the morning first thing that's the first thing that be on my mind and it's a habit it's a habit and then I get into my word I commend my day for the day I start getting up and I start praying and declaring and decreeing and stuff so y'all 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 should try that if you don't already do that you should try and give it a try Especially if you're going through some, 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 some tough times in your life, you could, I mean, it won't hurt to, 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 to um, declare and decree some things for the uh, first 30 minutes or hour or whatever you want to do the first part of your day. Give it to the Lord. You know, all that good stuff. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. I love it. And I find myself, the more I do it, the more I want to, um, the more I want to do it. Because I think about all the, all the heartache and all the headaches and all the pain and all the suffering that I've been through in my life. That some that I may have caused upon myself and some that the enemy just came in to do what, you know, to just do what he do best. Kill, steal, and destroy. So, and then when you get to a point where you get tired of that, you try to make a change in your life for the better make a change in your life, you say to yourself, something has got to change. 
something has got to change. You start looking at yourself and you start looking at the decision and the choices that you make that you're making from day to day and see if it's something that you can change within yourself that's going to help make that change come about. Because sometimes we have to work on ourselves first in order to help somebody else or in order to have a change come upon our life, we have to work on ourselves. Ask God, you know, first trust and believe. But this is what I choose because you know everybody have their own choice and belief. So I mean, I, I believe and I trust God. So trust and believe in God. I'ma say trust and believe in God. That's what I'ma tell you. That's the way I know. That's what's been working for me. Even if it does, like I said, it might not happen overnight. But through time, as you continue to work on that thing, everything. It takes time and we always say good things come to those who wait i'm a witness because i'm sure waiting the expectation of some good stuff some more good things to come my way some more good things to come my family's way and i've been declaring i've been decreeing and declaring some things and i know they're going to manifest i know they're going to manifest and while i'm waiting for those things to manifest i'm going to do my part as a woman of God, as a child of God, as a wife, and as a mother, that I'm supposed to do. I'm going to do my part. And so that I can see those things come to fruition and manifest into my life. It's going to be awesome. And even if it don't happen, when I want it to happen, if it don't happen, you know, it's still good. It's still all good. I get up every morning, and I promise you, you know, I don't always look for an increase in, in finances. I look for an increase in my health been sick, you've gone through some sickness in your life, and where you've been sick at the time, you've been looking for increase. Lord, give me strength, give me help, a peace of mind. All that I talk to y'all all the time about a peace of mind. That's 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 that. I think that is very important. A peace of mind. A peace of mind. Because I can have the, the car that I want. I can have the house that I want. I can have the husband that I want. And, you know, everything could be just all that. But if I don't have a peace of mind, I'm not going to be able to enjoy none of that. None of that. And so you got to, like I said, we got to look at ourselves. Like my daughter said, she said my mom, she asked me a question the other day about um, if I had her, you know, what kind of relationship. I said, I don't want to think about a relationship. But at the time, I was still in the world. But I still wasn't thinking about a you know a relationship at that time and so even now that i'm saved and i'm that i'm a you know the way i am now i um i tell her i said first you know through all of my mistakes that i made in the past i can give you some wisdom and some knowledge on how to do things things that i wish somebody could have really sat down and told me that i could have done which was pray ask god to change you to get you prepared for a husband and ask god to prepare you a husband that's that's meant for Tailor made for you, not just any old body. Because especially nowadays, you got undercover men with wives or, or men that, that that you think are, are straight, but they really want with another man or a woman. You know, you just don't never know. I mean, it go both ways. But I tell her to ask God, pray, ask God to uh, to get her prepared prepare a husband for her to tell her make a, hood, a man that's meant just for her. Not just any other things. That's what I teach my daughter. And that's what I tell her. Because I know what I what, what I've been through. What all I went through. No you know, he loved to ride. He loved to ride. He just sat right there looking at the through the sun, looking at the sky. I mean even that if even that little bit of energy that that I'm portraying that that's within me that I'm spreading is falling upon him because if I'm if I bring along bad energy, it's gonna it's gonna um he's gonna feel that. He can, he can feel it. He can feel that and then he'll start hollering and cutting up and crying and stuff. Says good vibes over here. Yeah. I got to hop on 95. Quick second to get where I need to go. 
So I just want to get on here this morning and just care with you guys. Get on up. Let's get up. Let's live, y'all. Let's enjoy every moment. Even if we don't have everything we want, let's get up and, and, and make it do what it do until we can get what we want. Until we can get what we want and get what we want to be. Okay? So this part here, where did you come from? So let me focus on this highway, y'all. So I'll be back. I'll be back with another video. You guys have a blessed day and be safe.